This is the top 30 ranking for the credibility. And now we use the top uh, 30. Actually, we had uh, uh, one reason to, uh, uh, <coughs> to uh, drop one and uh, 29. And gene risk score was calculated. Uh, <coughs> and uh, we, oh, we did this on a, a cohort of diabetic patients and see how it worked. Uh, the predictive power using receive your operating characteristics analysis. You see that the area under the curve, if it is bigger, it is more specific and it is more sensitive. So you can see that the only using the genetic risk score, the AUC was like 0.68, like that. If you add to that hypertension and BMI, it went up like that. Okay? And if you don't use G, uh, gen genetic risk score, and if you use A6, BMI, hypertension, smoking, and family history, it was about the same as this one. So it means that the current genetic test has a receiver operating characteristic near to family history taking. Does it impress you? <clears throat> so the gene tests, why do they, we have to use gene tests which is much more expensive than family history taking? This is a little bit of odds, but we think it like this. Because prevention of diabetes is about education. So who knows why you have, what kind of risk, uh, why it is a risk is a good matter for diabetic prevention, education. And the family history of the patient is about the family member, not you, not the patient themselves. But the gene test is about you, the patient themselves. And the gene test provides a good tool to educate patients how yourself may relate to the diseases. <clears throat> we now think that uh, the medicine is moving towards more towards uh, P4 medicine. This is predictive, preventive, personalized, and participatory. <clears throat> The former President Obama was pushing uh, precision medicine. So it may say be said that 5P instead of 4. <clears throat> well, Obama's uh, in initiative, he's going to uh, sequence whole genome of one million United citizens. One million. And they're going to uh, create a cohort to follow their uh, <coughs> uh, uh, health or disease status. That's a huge, huge uh, initiative, and I hope that will continue even after the Trump uh, took after Obama. And don't think that this P4 medicine is something in a f far future. It is already beginning that, uh, as you see in the Angela, uh, <clears throat> Angelina's case, there's a family history of actress, there's a lifestyle, and as for the personal type side, it is like that, and for the predictive type, she received the genetic test, which reveals that her lifetime risk was 87% for breast cancer, and preventive means that uh, she took a preventive mastectomy, and after that, her risk reduced to 5%. And participatory, in this case, means that uh, she came out and that she said that I want to have all women learn from my experience. So this is uh, a something uh, of a start point for the P4 medicine. This is uh, Nature 
I took this from a current Nature Review paper, and they are also uh, talking about personal genome. Personal genome will be widely implemented in medicine and healthcare in many different lifestyle, life stages, including when you get married, when you conceive the baby, when the baby is born, when you are young, and when you're getting a mother, uh, children, and also when you are quite old. So that's in different life stages. <clears throat> Sometimes you may want to go to the personal genome, your own genome, and make use of that for a better life. So this is uh, what Obama said that uh, in a uh, last year's uh, conference. I would like to think that if somebody does a test on my, on me or my genes, that's mine. Means that he wants to know if the gene is solved. He, <coughs> he wants to be the owner of your own gene, not the doctor. So this is my last slide. The future I envision is that uh, by knowing your genes, you can improve your health and save your life. And this is the acknowledgments. These are my collaborators. And I would like to give a special thank to the graduate students from this country. Hetai uh, Ruvin, sitting over there, is the first generation uh, who graduated from my former uh, uh, <coughs> professor. Ki uh, Chan Ko, Nechi Tong, they are uh, living in, uh, I think, in Japan. Uh, sh she is, uh, 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 is a postdoc now. Kansi Tu, Kin Tetezo, they graduated this year from uh, and took the uh, doctorship. They are looking for a job right now. Uh, Teza Cho and E Kokomin is still uh, working hard in my laboratory. And I think I'll quit there and take questions. Thank you for your attention. CFM, caring for well being.